Welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. You're Sambo, a Seraphis, and joining us as always is Tallahassee. How are you this evening, my friend? I'm good. I am ready to fuck some shit up. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Tallahassee we know and love. And did you notice, by the way, I made nary a reference to your dual wielding nipples? Well, not until I mentioned them just then, of course, but I've been good, haven't I? I've been really good. Yeah. You're, yeah. You sound like you're sus good. you get you're getting suspicious, like I'm like I'm doing it deliberately because I'm going to hit you with something else. But no, no, I'm not. I'm deliberately not mentioning your nipples in every episode, and I'm absolutely not paying uh, any attention to the fact that they're dual wielding or anything like that. So uh, there we go. I okay. deserve ten well, internet points for that. Moving along from my tits. What, what, what was that? Moving along from my tits. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. We don't want to know any more about Tallahassee to do. boobs. There are things to do. In fact, uh, welcome, so guys. If you joined us. Play Saints Row the Third. Saints Row the Third. Oh, yes, you've already got that well ahead of me on that one. But in the meantime, you can see folks on the map here. If I zoom right in, right next to us, we've got one, two, three, four quests here to hand in. So uh, this is good. Of course, we didn't get to hand them in in the last episode. So, oh, do you know what? For a moment there, I thought that perhaps, perhaps my horse was actually the same size or bigger than yours, but alas, it's not. I oh, just, I still, I don't know. I'm. Did we ever figure out why that was? Apart from the fact that yeah, uh, <laughs> the character models. We've, <laughs> uh, you know what? That cracks me up every time. That is never going to get. Oh, do you know what? My horse. Oh, look at my horse. My horse has an epic beard, thanks to your donkey's ass tail, basically. My, yes, I have an epic beard. Look at that. <laughs> I look like an old man horse. <laughs> this, this is just a constant source of amusement for me. Um, wouldn't it be awesome? I miss my beard. Well, if, if we could actually time it so we could move around forever like this, it would just be crazy. But yes, yeah, speaking of your beard and speaking of things like good causes, I understand, Master Tallahassee, that um, you're taking part in, because let's face it, it's November at the moment, and I understand you're taking part in Movember, is that right? I am, and I... Spent the last two weeks growing some facial hair because yep. that is always an awkward phase. Um, <laughs> and then today I decided to shave it all down and make myself a mustache. Oh man! And because my facial hair has a lot of colouring in it, because like my, I've got quite fair hair, right? So my beard is quite fair, except in certain spots. Right. So I started shaving it, which is fine, but it looks like I have like the little Hitler stash going on. Because <laughs> oh it's God. so fair on like the corners of my mouth, but like under my nose, it's really dark. <laughs> oh, so that's I, terrible. I, I walked in, and everyone's going Yavolt and I my Fuhrer. Oh so, man! You know, thanks, guys at work. Oh, oh, you know what? I can't, uh, I can't wait to see you on Saturday. <laughs> You've all here a couple of times. Oh, oh that's God, it's, it's that's tragic. Horrible. Yeah, that's tragic. Oh dear. But look, still, uh, you know what? Ten points out of ten for making the effort. And of course, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, we'll put a link to uh, all of the Movember. Uh, information down underneath this video because Movember of course supports well actually supporting a couple of things this month or this year rather isn't it Tallahassee I, I know it normally supports uh, I think male prostate uh, cancer is that right is that one of them yep and so, I think uh, research into yeah. prostate cancer and also uh, beyond blue for depression oh that was the other one and I'm pretty sure yeah male depression I'm pretty sure that's new. Is that new for this year? I don't remember it being in previous year's campaigns. No, no, it's been around for a while. Oh, okay. I, I only um, ever hear yeah. about the prostrate stuff. Hmm. Well, that's really the big one for men. Yeah. Remember, guys, um, every once in a while, just give them a bit of a check. It doesn't need to be anything more than that. Just make sure they're all round and sort of the same size. <laughs> you know what? Well, I'm certainly not. You're gonna... laughing, but that's 
No, no, that's, well, that's, that's serious. Like you know, no, it is check going on. You know? It is, it is true. I just, it, I, I just, you know. Re- I just, for some reason, had this strange vision of of you wanting to check. You know, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm I'm quite happy doing that myself. Not not that that would ever happen, but I, I don't know why. Just you saying that. But um, you're absolutely right. And it's uh, even though we're we're tragically a laughing matter. Uh, the topic at hand absolutely isn't. And uh, folks, the statistics. If you don't know, if you're uh, a younger male watching this episode, uh, it probably doesn't really mean that much to you. And I was exactly the same when I was younger. But um, you know what? It's a very serious thing. And the yeah, the statistics are tragic and frightening. Tallahassee. I don't. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember any off the top of my head um, of about how many. Uh, tragic deaths there are you know to prostate cancer in Australia alone is just so many when I saw the number I wish I could remember it but uh, it's a scary 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 number and like like Tallahassee says just like uh, you know female equivalent with uh, breast cancer etc uh, we can joke about uh, self-examination and all the rest of it but at the end of the day that's exactly right you just need to uh, do the old check just like your car I think Mate, some people put more effort into getting their car serviced every month than they do their uh, their nether regions and other other bits and bobs. Wouldn't you say that's a fair call, especially if you're a male? Yeah, I, mean, I know. Sort of from my family's history, we have a long history of cancer. Oh. Um, so it, it's something that I do take seriously. I do get checked. It's not the most pleasant of things to get done. Yeah. Yep. But it's definitely worthwhile doing. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, look, you know, funny, here's a fact for you and in fact for all you guys watching, I don't mind saying, is that at least Tallahassee, and I'm, I'm sorry that you have that history in your family, um, but, you know, at least you know, I guess, um, that, you know, genetically speaking, to be extra careful. I'm actually adopted, believe it or not, and I don't know my, uh, my natural father. And it's all fine, uh, but uh, you know, unfortunately, for things like uh, cancers, uh, heart disease, all those sort of things, I have absolutely no clue what my family's history is. So it's all a bit of a bit of a surprise. Uh, I've been fortunate, Touchwood, so far, but um, you know, I have absolutely no idea what's in store for me in my later years. But like you say, the best way, uh, well, you know, prevention's better than the cure, as they say. So. In all seriousness, well done, mate, for uh, taking part in that. And uh, on a lighter note, I certainly look forward to having a giggle at your your moustache. Oh, God. This moustache is so horrendous. <laughs> oh, it, it's just bad. Oh, man. All right. Uh, maybe maybe what we'll have to do, folks, what do you reckon, is take a couple of snaps of this uh, furry caterpillar that's crawling along uh, Tallahassee's upper lip and post some up oh on our dear God, no. on our Facebook page or something like that. Who knows? We'll see if Sambo, he lets me near him. Just remember, I know where you live. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's probably not worth my while. Anyhow, folks, let's get off the morbid stuff. Uh, we've got to come back here to the camp, and I've got a whole bunch of quests to hand in. So let's do that ah, and get these out of the way. You can see, we've got a couple here for Sergeant Heinrich. Oh, maybe that's what I'll call you with your new mo, Tallahassee. So maybe you're S- Sergeant Heinrich. Oh dear. No, All right, get ourselves. I know nothing. <laughs> no, you're not nothing. Um, actually, do you know what? It's funny. So I go off topic again. You know the guy who played Colonel Clink, uh, by the way, you know, with the monocle, um, mm. you know, in Hogan's Heroes. I only found out the other day he was an avant, uh, like an ardent, sorry, conductor. Like he it was an absolutely fanatical classical orchestra orchestra conductor and i was watching some footage really? of him the other day yeah going nuts that, that's what he actually does um is yeah like you know full oh. on classical conductor just there you go strange fact for you i'm not sure if he's still alive anymore but um I'm just, i think he is that was a classic show and of course good old hogan there we go oh, handing that one in too uh hogan did you ever know what um you know the guy that played hogan in hogan's heroes uh what was his name bob mm-hmm. Bob something. Um, I can't remember his name. Yeah, do you know he actually got murdered in real life? Did he? Yeah. Yeah, it was the most bizarre thing. I remember reading about it. Oh, I read about it about 10 years ago now. But um, he actually, it's a bit bit disturbing, folks. Uh, but he got, um, well, 
Long story short, a piece of piano wire around his neck, and we well, can imagine the rest. Not very pleasant at all. Fucker rotted. Yeah, pretty much. And sorry if you guys are eating Jesus, it. That's some. Dinner? That's some Godfather shit right there. Yeah, I know. So I'm thinking that perhaps somebody thought that you know, or kind of got the character mixed up with the actor, perhaps a little bit. I'm I'm not sure. Anyway. Gosh, we've been talking about morbid things tonight, folks. Let's move on and have a look at these. What are these corpse widow silk leggings here that are part of my reward? And you can see for once in a long while now, these are actually better than what I've currently got equipped. Uh, so we will just... Best of luck. Let's go into my character. You can see there, and we're going to pop these on. You can see they've actually got 160 armor instead of 149. A couple more intelligence and about the same wisdom and endurance. So we'll pop them on. On. And of course they don't show up in our character in the real world because we're making use of the wardrobe down here as well. Don't forget that. Alright, got another hand in here. Lucky last. And we've got ourselves a nice belt there. And again, that looks like, let's see, more armor. Same intelligence. Oh, Tallahassee. This new belt has five wisdom where my current belt has seven wisdom. I, I know I really need wisdom uh, do you think that's worth the hit of, for the same amount of intelligence? No. What do you reckon? Go the end. Has it got more armor on it? Uh, only by five. So 88 armor as opposed to 83. And I lose two wisdom. What do you reckon? I'd probably go with the extra armor. Okay, alright. Yeah, this game's a little bit weird with mitigation. But death. To the more armor you've got, the better it's going to be for you. Yep, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I'm kind of always. I mean, wisdom's only. That yeah. Two wisdom's not really going to give you a huge amount of like mana regen. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If it was maybe intelligence, I guess what you're saying uh, might be a little bit different. Uh, but because, like you say, it's you wisdom. Know, it's it's only I, the regen. Whereas what I'd something? do is actually yeah. don't sell it yet. I'd actually equip one. Oh. What the stats say? Good idea. Until it's a very go. good idea. Okay, let's have a look at this. We'll go to our stats. We haven't done this for a while, folks, so it's probably some good practice here. So what Tallahassee is saying is you can see if I hover over my wisdom there with the new item equipped, it's 108, and it's increasing our spell power by 54, and mana regen by 85.4. So the big numbers there are 54 and 85.4. If we equip our new one, it's 55 and 85.8 so 85.8 versus 85.4 you know what you're absolutely right that's going to make bugger all difference is it uh, in the grander scheme of things yeah. I think um, so we shall sell that off buy buy and, sell. and there again, we something. go alright now for some reason got still more handins here gosh there's so many of them we were really it's busy in the last episode day. weren't we far out we were Oh, I reckon. All right, here we go. New objective: Good deliver point. the collection of remnants to Marshal Kane at Kane's Good command. Luck. And we've also got another hand in over here. Hello. Crikey! All right, there we go. Finish that one off, and we've now got to speak with Raylan Laurel at Kane's command as well. So uh, it seems pretty clear to me that we're being sent to Kane's command, if you ask me. Which, of course, you can see here, folks, is just up the road anyway. And we've been there before as well. Over close to the particular. Gosh, look at that view. That is a stunning view out to the side there, isn't it? That tree. Is that tree significant in any way, or is it just a fancy piece of eye candy? It's a bit of eye candy, but we also get the corner. Oh, 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 oh. You know how much I love climbing trees. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Raylan Laurel. Here to help? Yes, hand that in. All right, she wants us to kill Gorfang Crushers, eight of those, and Gorfang Wranglers, three of those. Of course, you always know when you have to kill three of something, they're probably ten times more difficult uh, than the other one. All right, and where's this other hand in? There it is, hiding inside here. Marshall Kane. Oh, it's actually Kane. Hello. Right, and he wants us to collect a cracked gem mount and a tarnished heavy chain and a broken clasp. So let's have a look on our map and see where we've got to go and grab all these things. Oh, okay. So, oh, you know what? I think I spoke too soon, didn't I? Old Warden, 
that looks like it's there's a big picture of a tree yeah. there, Tallahassee. Where we is, so we're heading over yeah, that way now. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, yep. brilliant. Good stuff. Look at that, folks. Just really does look awesome. Wow. I think yep. there's more quests down here as well. And yes, there is. Good lord. Alright, got ourselves a little outpost here. And we've got a Gorfang. Oh, there's the Gorfang Crushers. And this is yet again another mob that I've never Gucci. seen before. Collect blood aniseed, by the way, from the Dominators. I'm just going to get up close for once. Uh, I know we should be back range, but we just want to quickly have a look at this guy. Whoa, look at his face. That's one ugly... Ugly son of a gun. That's a new mob for me. That one. Never seen that before. Now let's make sure our buffs are up. Put synthesis up on Tallahassee, of course. Dark armor up on ourselves. And now we can go to town. And there we go. Yeah, see, they were bigger. The Gorfang Wranglers, one of three. Now, of course, every time we film an episode, Tallahassee, we must get an update on your endgame shenanigans. Now, I know for a fact that you were raiding again, uh, what was it, last weekend, I believe? Is that right? Actually, I wasn't raiding last weekend. Oh, you weren't? Oh, I thought you said, oh, I'm sorry, I could have sworn you said you were. I was meant to. Oh, what happened? Um... I had my SSD file. Oh no. SSD meaning hard drive, of course. Yep. Oh um, dear. Well, so what do you mean by it just, so it literally just stopped working pretty much? Yep. Yep. It was, I was in the middle of playing a game and all of a sudden everything stopped. And it actually kept it up on screen for a little while but yeah just nothing happening oh man that's i hate when that happens that's horrible oh actually hang on, hang on. and we're rocking and rolling all right so what did you end up doing did you so hang on what hang on is this what i know that you're very organized and you tend to have a separate drive for your operating system versus the you know, like game content and stuff. Is that was that the case with the SSD? Yeah, that was my operating system drive. Oh, okay. Well, that's. I mean, that's both simultaneously nasty because, of course, that means you're probably completely gimped. But at least all your game data, presumably, was all okay. Yeah, that side of it was fine. Um, what was more annoying was the time that it happened. That like it happened on a Saturday night. Oh, oh, hence, hence so, the no raiding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad. It wouldn't have been so bad if I could go out like on a Saturday and get it on the drive. It's just the timing of it. Yeah, oh, that's horrible. Oh, so, the what did you. Well. What ended up happening? Like, how'd I, you fix it? I was talking with a mate of mine about it. Yeah. And. You know, I've known this guy for quite a while, this part of 15 years. Yeah. And we were talking about it, and then about an hour later, he turns up in my place with a new SSD. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. No. Oh, you know what? I that, wish I was, that, that, that brings to mind the good old Golden Girl song. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, my God, that's ex outstanding friend service. Isn't it? That's that's he's definitely uh, added points into the friend bank there. That's amazing. So did yeah. you? So hang. Oh wait a minute. You still would have had to. Um, oh, what's that? An artifact. Do you want that? No, it's all yours. Thank you. Uh, so did you have to completely reinstall your OS and and all the rest of it? I suppose. Yarp. Ah. Oh. Oh, I had to spend Sunday doing that. Oh man. Yeah. Oh and well. Be us getting ripped back up and running because it took forever to get oh. you know Windows 7 done and patched and happy and 
Yep. Uh, oh, it's just annoying. It is, but you know, I guess at the end of the day, that's technology for you. I mean, you know, we rely on it so much, not just computers as well. And we kind of, I don't know, I think it's fair to say that we, you know, never prepare for the worst and we never think stuff like this is going to happen to us. And, you know, I, it's completely heartbreaking sometimes. And I know I've suffered from it. For example, you know, I've lost complete episodes that we filmed that you can never, never capture again and stuff like that. And, you know, no, no matter how much you back up and take precautions, something inevitably goes wrong and you lose something or you, you get put out like yourself for a day or whatever and it's just, oh, it's just, it's just freaking annoying. So, end of, the, end of the day then, yeah, no raiding for you. Did the guys, obviously they still uh, went ahead and raided though, I'd imagine. Yeah, they did. Um, what, what were they doing? They, they were doing uh, HK and they were also, where were they? You know, um, GSB and River Souls. Oh, okay, alright. So, there, there was stuff there that went farming, but there's also new stuff that went farming. Yeah. Although, <clears throat> presumably, you'll get a chance to run that again, though. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll be going there again. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. So it's not like, it's not like I missed out on a whole lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, always look on the bright side. <laughs> I love that song. Um, you know, the bright side is, I guess, you got to freshen up your operating system because that's always good when you're running a Windows system. Give it a good, a good clean out. Uh, yeah, no, that was good. I um, suppose. Just one pain in the ass was I lost one of my emails. You, you lost one of your what? A lot of my emails. Oh, you're joking. What did, do you use, uh, do, do you not use an online email service? I do. I've got Gmail, but I also use, um, Outlook, rather than logging into Gmail. Oh, right. Okay. Because I hadn't backed up my PSD in a while. Ah. Uh, damn. Ah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that was annoying. It's alright. It's still still bad. I was just more worried about looking at or trying to find my Diablo 3 pre-order. Your Diablo 3 what? Pre-order. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that now that would be a tragedy. That would be an utter tragedy. Um, yeah. Oops. Are you actually still following? Yep, I just lost you for a second there. Sorry, I'm, that's, hence my pause. That was the sound, folks, of my brain thinking that that's what that was sure. <laughs> doesn't happen very often I was um, say. yeah <laughs> it's the first time for every achievement unlocked there you go um, what about the fact that I mean you know again we're talking about uh, an SSD drive here now I don't actually have any SSD drives and I really 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 should um, but I thought they were less susceptible to errors because at the end of the day they don't have any moving parts well from how i understand it anyway well you'd assume so wouldn't you damn but it's just dead man that uh yeah that really sucks uh by the way here we go folks yeah. searching searching a mount here we got ourselves the cracked gem mount and you can see obviously there's going to be a few of these items around yep yeah, around this whatever this is, this tree thing here. You can see on the map there, on the mini-map, in fact, if I go to the main map, remember these here are the, there you go, the collect the tarnished heavy chain and the broken clasp, so they're uh, very much nearby. Why can I hear a heartbeat? Or is that the music? I don't know, I don't have any sound turned up. Oh, uh, okay. It, it sounded like the sound when you're about to voice. die, you know. Ouch! Jeez, this guy's just completely locked me down. Ow! Where are you? Yeah, I'm just uh, over the other side. Got got caught up with uh, a bad guy. That's okay. We made it. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, and this looks like 
Oh no, I thought it was one of our clasps or whatever. That would be over here. Can you imagine... Can you imagine trying to find those without markers on the map, like old school? I know we, we quite often talk about old school games and stuff, but I, I mean, I like me some adventuring and puzzling and stuff, but I don't know these days. I think I've been conditioned a little bit. I'm not sure if I could be bothered ever, ever searching for something like that without a map, could you? No, I... It, it's one of those ones where it's like... Yeah, do I care enough? Yeah. I mean, you know, if the reward was some uh, amazing epic loot drop or something guaranteed, then yeah, maybe. Even then, possibly not. <laughs> yeah, times have certainly but changed. There's no doubt about that. Now, I did there's notice... There's an epic life quest I'm on at the moment. Yeah. North, and... Seriously, that took like six weeks to get to the point where I am now, where you have to stab Ward Greenscale so you can get his heart. Oh my lord. Six weeks! Yeah. That is and ridiculous. You need to get groups for things and... Yeah, it seems to me, it's quite funny, I was thinking about this the other day, uh, you know, we've spoken a lot, Tallahassee, about the whole nature of MMOs getting a lot more casual friendly. And, you know, we semi jokingly complain about it being, you know, way e everything's easy mode now and there's no challenge and all the rest of it. And I mean, look, that's fine and that happens. But it seems to me at the other end of the scale that the end game stuff gets harder and harder and the grinds get longer and longer. So, in other words, the journey, they want you to get to the you know, through the actual journey very, very quickly uh, and make everything very simple in terms of fast travel options and, you know, high amounts of XP that get awarded, all that sort of thing. And then once you get to the gear grind, it's it's like they do the opposite and they, they stretch it right out. It's, it's bizarre. Like, compared to what it used to be like, I mean. I guess a lot of that's for, like, long as well. Because imagine the world of what it was like back in the day trying to get like tier pieces yeah in World of Warcraft it was freaking nice there. I suppose I, I suppose it was I've been such a long time as since I did all of that I kind of forgotten like, I mean look, then again I'm one of the sad few uh, that have actually ground out the netherwing rep because I've, I've got all my netherwing drakes in WoW um, but even, you know, and that's that's largely regarded as a horrible grind. You know, that that was that wasn't that long. It only took me a sort of, I don't know, about ten days, probably. At the end of the end of the day. It wasn't that bad. What was that like ten played the days or No 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 no, sorry, no, no. No, definitely not ten slash played, but you know, ten ten days of of playing uh, normally. Uh, and I managed to, to do, I mean, look, admittedly, I did absolutely nothing else at the time in terms of, you know, in game. Oh, whoops, got a quest over there, haven't we? Uh, so I just focused on that. So, you know, my two or three hour sessions were totally doing that uh, for about 10 days in a row. So I suppose that was a fair amount. Didn't seem that bad, though. Anyway, look at that hand in, folks, which is good timing because we've just run out of time. And we've got to defend Dorel Vladi. Oh, the quest isn't available anyway. Hopefully it'll count for... Yeah, hopefully it'll count. Oh, I'll run off and see if we can protect... I wonder if I can heal him. Escort quests. To be perfectly honest, that's one thing I wish would die, is escort quests. Never been a fan. You know what I wish would die? What? Quick time events. Oh, God. Quick time oh. events can go fuck themselves. Yes, I agree with you totally. I hate quick time events. Although, having said that, I haven't actually played any games 
recently that have required any because I tend to sort of steer clear of them to be honest I just they're, they're like an insult aren't they they're, they're seriously an insult are you playing something at the moment that's got them have you yeah I was playing Battlefield 3 and that has quick time events it's oh you worst, you're joking worst quick time events ever what on earth are quick time events doing in a shooter for God's sake I don't know that's, oh that's horrible that's my question a freaking shooter. Yeah. Oh dear. They they're just so they're so insulting because it's like they're they're appealing to the lowest common denominator and it's like saying, hey, look, you're too dumb to do anything yourself. So instead, follow these you know big on-screen things and play Simon Says. Basically, is what it's all about. Um, come on. Yeah. I don't know. They just don't fit anywhere. Nah. That was my big complaint about that. Yeah, that that seems just stupid. You know, it seems like it's a joke, even. Like, you know, uh huh, uh, put a quick time event in Battlefield 3. It's like, yeah, right. As if anyone would ever do that. Well, it looks like they did. Uh -huh. The thing is, is it like a million of them? Or it seems like it's a million of them. Oh, no. Ah, uh, the. Yeah. Well, there's no way to rip you out of the immersiveness of a game than to throw big, uh, you know, press A, press up, press down buttons everywhere. Terrible. You know, the last game I played that had those was the crap fest that was Bulletstorm. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I expected it there. It's such an awful game. I can't believe I played, played actual money Bulletstorm. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's shocking. I can't believe I finished it. And there's evidence of that, folks, of course. It's one of our uh, Let's Plays. If you go through, have a look at the playlists. If you want to see a perfect example of a horrible game, go watch that. Look no further. Yep. I have a friend. Only one. All right, got a couple of corpses to loot, and then, sorry folks, we are way over time. We'll wrap this episode up. And in fact, yeah, let's wrap that. Oh, hang on, where's the hand? It's just up here, isn't it? Yep. Go. Back to old, old warden with this amazing tree here. Look at that, folks. That is just a spectacular view, if you ask me. It's amazing. All right, here we go, Erif, you or whatever your name help? is, with your weird-looking clothes on there. And you can see he's going to give us... Well. Oh, jolly good. What have we got now? Some new quest? Yeah, we've just got to go back up to Kane's command, don't we? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, folks, that's it. Let's get out of here. If your boss is saying, get back to work because it's over half an hour, tell them it's all Tallahassee's fault. In the meantime, of course, I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode. On behalf of myself, Sambo, Tallahassee, and Seraphis, we'll see you next time. I hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. We'll look forward to seeing you then, and bye-bye.